The 10th Parliament's tendencies to blow past its own deadlines is very much in force. The finance bill, which ideally should have been passed in the second half of 2011, only became law on the 27th of April this year. Today, that trend continued with a motion to extend the deadline for the passage of the Public Financial Management Bill of 2012 by five months was tabled. The House Speaker, however, moved the debate and moved on the motion to Thursday. The precise nature of those consultations were not immediately clear. What was clear, however, is the legal justification for extending a constitutional deadline according to Article 261 3B of the Constitution. According to the Finance Minister, that provides for exceptional circumstances under which deadlines on constitutional implementation bills can be extended. The reasons given for the shift by the Finance Minister were delays in consultation, draft publication and presentation of the proposed law. The PMF bill will create a single account through which government transactions will be handled, making it easier to keep track of government expenditure. Combined with the implementation of the proposed value-added tax law, which is projected to enhance tax revenue, the PMF bill will make the state more accountable for the extra taxes it gets and uses from you. It will also lay the foundation for devolution of public finance management to county governments. At the moment, though, taxpayers have already lost three months in which the new system could have been implemented and fine-tuned as needed. Can we afford to lose any more time? For Newsnight, I'm Joanne Weirimo.